Okay, what is Git Ignore? So Git Ignore is the kind of files that you use in order to just ignore some files to be pushed and committed into your repository or you, into your Git repository. So for example, in our project, we have a folder node modules, which include all of the dependencies. If I open this node modules, you will find out that there is multiple folders here that I'm not interested to push in into the repository. So the problem here, if I just use git stairs, I don't have anything staged, but let's just open the file, which I already have within this, this repo. Okay, I'll use ls all. And they have this git ignore file. If I just open this file, so in any repo, in any GitHub repository, when you clone it, you will find out that there is the .git ignore files, one that include some ignored files and also folders, not only files, but also folders. And if we take a look here, you will find out that there is a node module, a coverage, these are folders, and we have a build folder, so which includes something, it's only used for the production, the DS store, which is a file that can be generated for the Mac operating system users, and we have the log for the npm command. For example, if I just comment that, let's just comment that. And I just comment not module, which means that I'm not ignoring the folder. Now, if I just type git stairs, you will find out that the node module, so I have something modified here, which I need to stage them and commit the changes. But the problem is I have also this node module that I need to also commit that. But the problem is that this node module is a heavy folder. It includes all of the dependencies. People who are just sharing with them this project, they are not interested with what is inside of node module, but what they are interested with this package.json. And if we open this package.json, package.json, you will find out that there is all of the dependencies and people will have this project right here. They will just need to run npm install instead of giving them the whole folder, which is not module in our case. Okay, for that, you just need to ignore the folder. And by ignoring the folder, we just need to put the name of the folder in our case, not module. And another another folder here is the covers for people who are using testing. The discovered folder will include so the tested results. Sometimes can be an HTML file and XML files depend. So this build folder will be used for the production when you want to just deploy your website or and this npm login. All of that should be ignored. So if you have any folder that have a git repo, so this git ignore should be included. And it depends on the project. We don't have a normal or a general git ignore file, which includes all of the stuff, but it depends on the projects you are working on and it depends on the operating system you are using. And if we take a look here at this GitHub repo, which is the git ignore, you will find out that we have multiple templates depending on the project. If, for example, I go to WordPress and they open that, you will find out that there is the ignored files here. And we have a WP config. Why? Because this WP config is including the authentication, the username, and the password. So you don't have to push or to commit these files and push it into GitHub repo because it includes authentication. And this is not something that you need to share. Same thing for the backup. Same thing for other files and folders right here. The uploads, you don't need to push or to commit to the uploads folder because it includes the images and super heavy. You can even, let's just take a look to another one. Okay, there's multiple ones here depending on the project. And you see, okay, let's just use node and get ignore. And you find out that there is a log. You don't want to share them. You want to push them and commit them because this folder are super heavy. And sometimes it includes some public information that you don't want to share. And to have a cover folder, you already saw. And we have the dot grant folder. And you don't have to use all of this file. So it's dependent on the project because in some folders, maybe you don't have this cover folder. Maybe you don't have this other files right here. But sometimes you can find out that there is asterisk right here, which means that any file which has this extension, not only one file, because if one just define one file, you just need to add the name plus the extension. But in general, if you want to exclude any file that have a .pid extension, you just need to use this asterisk right here. Sometimes you will find out yourself, you will find out that you can combine multiple things here. Okay, just keep in mind, sometimes, as I already said, you can combine multiple ones. And if we just open this git ignore file, you will find out that we combine some files, some configuration of node module, we have coverage, we have also DS store. So it's depend, just you can use this template from here 
and just check out what do you want to just exclude and other interesting thing is just you can combine multiple one because sometimes you can have a react project and also using php or also using a framework like symphony or other one and you want to just exclude all of this files just open the template that is or for example if you have in a project that you use kick php and also a node module just open the template of node then open also the kick php dot get ignore and ignore all of the folder and the file that you not don't need to use ignore the file that include the authentication because there is too many repository on github when you can find out that people are not aware of that and are just pushing the file that include the authentication the api key and all of this stuff be aware of that and ignore this files. okay how to do that is very simple as i already said just create a dot ignore file and add the folders and add the file that you don't need to use and if you want to just exclude any file which has a specific extension use this asterisk right here and the extension you want to exclude and you will exclude any file that has the specific extension 